Hey guys, so this is going to be the first video of four on the deal breakdown we have here in Florida on Flanders Avenue. So I'm going to show you now how I actually got this deal, how I broke it down and everything like that. So this was a direct mail deal and I got a call from the lady and I was actually out of state. I was in Ohio, in Ohio at the time for a real estate thing. So right now I'm going to show you the recorded conversation and show you how I took this all over the phone and got her to sign a contract the day she called me. So let's tune into that. Do you have a, um, like how would you send the pictures? Just over email or something like that? I can send them to you text. That's what you want. I mean, it's the simplest way. I can go around and take pictures and I mean, the house is, like I told you, it's kind of dirty at the moment. I literally worked a hundred hours in the last two weeks. So, wow. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I work a lot. Yeah. Um, Okay. In fact, I've yeah. had three three Sundays off in the last month. So, um, okay. um, just to give you an idea, um, I put cherry custom cabinets in it. It's got granite countertops. Um, I told you the master bedroom needs work. Uh, we had a, a one of the we had a leak in the um, shower handle. And it damaged the drywall, but it is a very short, it, it's not even a whole piece of drywall on that wall. There's a small section of floor that we took up and didn't replace. Um, there is one thing I, I have to be honest and upfront with you. We smoke and we smoke okay. in the house. So okay. there's a certain, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I don't want it. I don't want that to come as a, as a surprise. No, it's paint. I, I'd probably have to replace some flooring, but like that's, it's not the end of the world, you know? Um, um, I mean, you're not smoking five packs a day, right? No, nobody's no, here I, enough to smoke five packs a day. I, it's only a problem when you smoke five a day. Like, no. I'm just being honest. No. Uh, I've had some like, five a day. I can't do anything uh, like one to two. I, you know, it's not, it's not the best situation, but it's not the end of the world really. So, I mean, let's say, I mean, I can get an idea on my head. Uh, I mean, I live in Palm Bay, too. If mm -hmm. I was just going to buy this house from you cash and I took care of that tax bill and assuming there's no code violations, which I really have to check. Uh, Very fun. I mean, if I was just going to buy it cash and I gave you as much time as possible, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. what, what would that number really be? Well, I, 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 again, I'll be honest with you. You're the first person I've, I've talked to about this. Um, I do have to relocate the house. I mean, you're going to make money on it. Um, I, and I understand that's your business and that's what you need to do. So I don't know what's. I don't know what to say to that because I know fair market value. If you sat down and do taxable value by twenty five percent and and all that, I've 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 done that. Um, I mean, no BS. You think, you know, like I'm not here to fight you on stuff. I just like <laughs> what's easy, no hassle. Like I hate playing that cat and mouse game. You know. Right. Um, Ninety. Ninety. Okay. Well. Okay, I really have to look at the pictures, but I mean, if that'd be 90, and then I, uh, is that 90 with or without the tax bill? I'm all confused here. Well, if you pay the tax bill and 90, that's 100,000 to you, and I know you, once you put a small amount of money into it, I'm going to say under 20,000 easy, um, you're going to make a fair profit off of it. Well, you know what I can do? I'm, I'm just trying to think, you know, like to make this, like, as easy as possible for you because right. I can't I can't look up your real tax bill and I can't look up the code violations honestly um, what there if is I no code that? violations okay there's there's none that's there's nothing against the title there's no code violations that's good. if there was I would tell you because I'm an honest person I know I understand that you know um, I, I do trust you live in assist you work at assisted living um, facility and those people are they're at a higher standard uh, yeah, I can pass a class two background check and a drug test. Yeah, yeah I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. 
I'm, I'm going to send you pictures of my kitchen, which is very beautiful. It, um, okay. I built a chef's kitchen in here when I bought the house. Okay. It, uh, it's U-shaped. It has an island in the center and all that. Um, I am going to send you a picture of the damage in the master bedroom so you can get an idea of it. Okay. Um, if you'd like, I'll go out front and I'll take a picture of the front yard and the backyard so you can get an idea of what the house looks well, like. I, mean, I can do this, which is even less of a hassle, honestly. If, let's say, I mean, if you um, signed a contract stating that I agree to buy the house for that price and I took care of the tax bill, what I could do mm -hmm. is I could have my uh, contractor come in and just look at it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you you just, no hassle. He just comes in, looks at it, and if he gives me the okay, then we can start the process as soon as possible, and we could get you on the way so I can just check, and I might... Be able to try. I just I, I want to pay that tax bill sooner than later. Like I love to pay yes, it. I want you, you to do that. The 30. I mean, if I sent you over a contract to sign, and then I can go mm -hmm. to uh, the city and say I have a contract here. I can I take care of this tax bill before you increase it and get you no know, late fee. I mean, is that something you could do where you could sign the contract agreeing to sell the house, and then I can bring that contract over saying I'm actually going to buy this house. I'm going to take care of this tax bill to the city. And then I can have my guy just come and look at it, and then I'll meet you in a week. And um, I can tell you what's going on. Okay. Um, are you going to back out? I mean, you're not going to back out, right? I'm legally I don't want to get bound. in the Okay. And I will be legally bound as well. You'd be legally bound um, to make sure I pay the tax bill. <laughs> No, I, I will sell you the house. I will not go to anybody else. I, I'm, I'm a woman of my word. I own the house outright. It has a clear title. There's no liens against it other than the tax bill. I, um, honestly, I you're, promise you're more you, than welcome. Um, the only way I can get out of it is if the house is literally on a sinkhole and my guy comes and it's underground. That's you probably the only um, way I can get out of it. So No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> So if I get this, because I, I'm going on three appointments tomorrow, and I, uh -huh. I don't have a million dollars, I, I probably have enough to buy it and then put some money into it and run it out. If I get you to, if you can sign it, then I can cancel these other appointments and we can kind of, um, I can make this my number one priority. I mean, would that be something you could possibly do today? Um. Can you give me an hour to think about it? I mean, I really... With that... Uh, I mean, I, I, know. I, I know. You're a businessman, and, and I just... I, I need to... I, okay. Um, but I want a, a, enough time to move. I've got to find something else to buy. Well, I'll write in there. You get 45 days. I mean, you can go... Okay, that's, that's awesome. If I do that, okay. can I email you? Um, I think we can do that right now. Yes. Okay. Um, can you text me your email and I can send everything over and then I'll, I can call you. We can try sure. to get this process going. Okay. I appreciate it. Um, just, no, I, I appreciate send, you. Send me your email right now. I'll write it. I pay tax bill and, and you get 45 days it, just so I can have that. And I can tell, Hey, this contract says I'm paying the tax bill. Let's get this going. Okay. 45 days from close. Yes, I'll write that. It'll be on their notes right there. I'll call you uh, okay. when I send it, and you can look at it. We can talk about it together. Okay, great. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. So after that, um, I had another phone conversation with her, and we went through this uh, contract through Dot Loop. So, Dot Loop is interesting. Um, that's what we use. Uh, you can use DocuSign or any other um, thing like that. But so we had the easy, easy peasy purchase and sales agreement. You know, I had the address there. Everything was written out perfectly. Ninety thousand. I was going to pay up to ten grand of her tax bill. Uh, she wanted forty-five days. I gave her sixty days, and um, the agreement was on May seventh, May twenty nineteen, and I had um, her sign on the dot loop. 
and that's it. So that's just a quick example of a virtual deal we did. Um, I thought that video was one we did in South Florida, but that was one in Palm Bay, Florida. So um, I guess I got that mixed up, but an example of a deal is an example of a deal. So that's the virtual deal. It can be done. I'm not here telling you I'm the expert on how to do it. Um, we are experts in actually physically going to the house and locking up deals like that, but we can lock up deals virtually if we want to. So this was a- So pretty crazy, right? Got this under contract for basically 100 grand. Uh, it cost us 102,000. When you look at the HUD settlement statement, that'll be in the next video. But so this video is just showing the recorded conversation, how I got the seller to sign the paperwork. And next will be, next video will be the next step in the whole process. We're just getting her to close on the house and the actual inspection. And then third would be the rehab and then fourth would be uh, making my money.